फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑल द एनर्जी अवेलेबल इन द बिंड कैन बी कैप्चर्ड यूजिंग अ बिंड टर्वाइन बैन द बेलोसिटी इज अनफेक्टेड बाई द प्रेजेंस ऑफ टर्वाइन इट इज फॉल्स वी कैन सी द प्रूफ from the transcript which is displayed on the next page and it and affected it primarily means that no energy has been transferred from the bin to windmill right so it's false now the next question is practical efficiencies obtained using windmills is approximately 10 to 30% it is true we can see the proof from the transcript which is displayed on the next page here you can see practical efficiencies are already in the 10 to 30% of the energy that's available to the in the bin so it's true now the third question is base limit represents a minimum efficiency that a bind mill must have to be commercially successful it is false because base limit represents the maximum efficiency limit not the minimum efficiency limit you can see from here so the answer is false now the fourth question is the bind velocity at the bind mill is the average velocity is well before and well after the bind mill it's true you can see the proof from here we can prove it using the bernoulli's equation so you can read this and find the answer now the fifth question is modern windmills use blades made of concrete it is absolutely false now we are going towards the proof the blades are regularly made of plastic waste plastic materials they are not made of concrete we can see from here now the next question is generators use permanent magnets and copper wires it's absolutely true and the proof is displayed on the next page we can see from here most of, most of the generators requiring permanent magnets and so these magnets are present you have fit fair bit of copper inside so it is true. now the next question is the blades of the windmill experience cyclic loading and hence must have excellent fatigue properties it is true the proof is displayed on the next page so the fatigue is very important for most structures which are facing cyclic loading and a bin turbine is a classical example of it so it is true now the next question is it is important for the bin mill blades to be stiff it is absolutely true so the proof is if the blade is not stiff then it will flap around the bins in strong bins so it must be stiff the next question is in drag type of bin turbines the tip speed ratio can be greater than 1 it is false you can see from the picture which is displayed on the next page that tip speed ratio is represented by lambda and it is clearly shown that it is less than 1 not greater than 1 so the answer is false the question is two blade horizontal axis bin turbines experience uneven forces due to presence of tower it is absolutely true we can see the proof you have only two blades every time the blade you know one of the blades is line up with the tower right so that's very unstable situation relatively speaking so it is true so this was all regarding the ncer assignment 8 thank you for spending your time and i hope it might have helped you in solving the assignment 8